Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another MAT 142 concept session. Um, today, we're going to be looking at how to find long-term probability effects. Now, up to this point, we've been talking about short-term probability effects, right? Like, what's the probability that I toss a tails over a head, right? Things like that that are pretty instant. Whereas what this concept is more talking about is like decisions that you make now and what what you can expect to happen into the future, right, on average. So um, if we go ahead and take a look at the problem, a life insurance provider offers life insurance for 50 year olds. They're required to pay out $25,000 to the beneficiary of the policy if the holder dies before they turn 60. The cost of the policy is going to be $600 each. Analysts say that there is a 2% chance that the holder will die before they turn 60. Will the company be expected to make money off of this? So um, again, you'll really find like these kinds of problems very common with like insurance companies and things like that. Um, but in order to kind of solve this, what we first need to do is determine how much on average is the insurance provider paying out, right? So if there is a 2% chance, right, that they have to pay $25,000 to a person, the way that we can kind of find the average of that is if we take this 25,000 and multiply by the percent chance that they have to pay it out. And when we do that, 2% uh, of 2,500 is just $500. So, that's basically saying on average, they're paying every single one of their customers $500. Even though they aren't necessarily doing that, you have to, the way this kind of looks at it is um, paying out that $25,000. Um, there's a 2% chance of that, right? So basically what it's doing is it's kind of splitting it up of the total amount of money that you would be expected to pay out on average with a 2% chance. Um, and it's splitting it up into um, a per person kind of setting, right? So now what we can do is um, compare this 500 to how much they actually require payment for for the actual program, right? So in which case it's 600, right? So will the company be expected to make money off of this? Yes, because in the long term, they're only expected to pay out $500 per person, whereas they're charging $600 per person, which means um, you would just subtract the two, right? So 600 minus 500, that's 100, right? So they're expected to make $100 per person on this insurance. So say, the, say if they charged $400 each um, for each uh, plan, that means that they would be losing $100, right? Which isn't a really good business model if you're a life insurance uh, provider because you're expected to make money, right? So that's kind of like where these kinds of like long-term probability um, problems come into play and when they're actually like very beneficial to companies because that'll, companies will base their entire um, plan, all of their plans based off of this kind of math. So I think that's pretty rewarding in of itself. Um, but if you have any other questions about this concept, go ahead and click on the link on your screen. Um, on there, it lists out all of the other free tutoring services that are available um, for being an ASU student. Or if you're looking for just uh, straight up tutoring, um, there's also a spot for you to enter in your ASU course. And after you hit enter, it'll the system will actually display all of the tutors along with their schedules um, for the tutors that can actually tutor that class that you entered. But um, other than that, that's all I have for you. So I hope you have a great rest of your day and good luck in your course.